Right, the next thing we're going to do is um, mount the motors. And some motors, some of the DT7 motor, DT750, sorry, DT750 motors um, axle might just extend a little bit on the bottom, which meaning, which means that the motors have a tendency to um, to flip or waggle the bound little around like that, and um, that means if you just mount it on the um, booms, the um, the axle will go through and rub against the um, the arms and we're not interested in that so we're gonna just drill a little hole where the axle should be so this doesn't hit the um, so the axle doesn't hit the the boom so um, we're just gonna drill a little bit away from the two these two um, booms because the third one here is where we're gonna mount the uh, yaw mechanism. So we're gonna take an eight millimeter drill um, and just to see because that's around the size of the motor mount. You see that fits in there. Um, and just to right, and we're gonna make the middle. Try to hit the middle at least. So we've now cut a little bit away and just gonna sand it. So make a nice clean surface and we'll do the same over here. Since we've now got the holes cut out, we can mount the motors on there. So what I like to do um, with these motors uh, and the motor mounts they may come loose and so what I like to do is to just mount it like that and um, now mount this with zip ties on your on your frame. Take these and mount your mount your um, motor mount with, and then take the other one from the other side up and mount them with zip ties like you normally mount zip ties. That and then the other side as well. And then just cut these off. Again, just take two two zip ties. You now got these mounted. And now you wanna go ahead and mount the motors on it. And um, what I like to do is to uh, use Loctite on these small grub screws. Grub screws have a tendency to loose after time, it's metal and metal. And um, if you use Loctite, um, they won't loosen up because it locks them tight. <laughs> I'll do that to the other motor as well. Oh, and you probably want to just add um, some hot glue to where the wires uh, meet the uh, motor windings. Um, because on these motors that's a very weak spot. And if you wiggle, wiggle these um, wires too much, the cover will break. And the cover wires will break and um, your motors will be destroyed. And that's very hard to fix. So just apply a little bit of hot glue or epoxy, you could also add epoxy glue um, to the, where the windings meet with the wires. Alright, to mount the yaw mechanism um, I simply made a plate equivalent to the size of, of the bottom of these hinges um, and take some bolts, cut some holes and 
mount these on each side and let the bolts go through and some three millimeter bolts by the way like that and we are gonna flip this over like that and we've now got completely control over where this is going to be mounted and we're gonna add a little bit of Loctite because this is very important to keep in Alright, now we've mounted the yaw mechanism, we now need to mount the servo. Um, make sure you have uh, centered the servo before attaching it. So once you have uh, the servo centered, you are now going to mount it uh, with zip ties. These zip ties are a little bit bigger um, than the one we used before but because they need to hold this in place so once you've centered it probably connect it to the uh, to the yaw mechanism so once you mount it the servo like that you can go ahead and cut there you go, we've now got a very good working yarn mechanism for your tricopter. So that's it.